Hi guys! Wanted to quickly show the gradient dyeing since so many had asked. I'm going to show it on a big piece so I didn't wire it. Usually I do all my dyeing on a wire and um, for the big pieces I just have protective gloves and I dip it. Most important part is you set a timer and you will need to stick to it to make it even on all the pieces. Let's see, we can hold it right there. And then what you start out with is, if you want it to here, you go up to here, to the line where you want the gradients to start, right? And you're gonna dip, dip, dip. I'm gonna turn that higher. I'm gonna just move this a little and just dip it. I'm gonna opt for a minute. Don't worry about that line up here. It's gonna go away. Um, so you wanna just swirl. I'm gonna opt for one minute on this piece all you do. I didn't have much black left so I had to use a, a smaller pot and in between you still want to go a little bit higher up just to make it nice and even so you can already see how it's starting to look and again don't worry about that line up here. The magic eraser is going to remove that entirely so you will not see any of that later. Down a little bit. You do want it kind of right at boiling, but you don't want your pot to overboil. Um, turn it a little bit lower. All right, we're at one minute, 13 seconds. This is where we're at, so I'll take it out and I'll dip it in water to not make a mess. And I'll put my piece to the side. And then I would take the next one, repeat the same timeline for all the pieces where I want the gradients. And then I will move this over to the sink and remove this and scrub over the whole part. And then I will do a gradient just from here, um, just from here to here. If I want the tips darker, um, even more dark than they already turned out. All right, I wanted to show this line right here which you would think you know oh no this is bothersome no it's not um, at all so you just take your magic eraser and you scrub 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 and you can see how the line simply disappears and you want to go a little bit into your gradient just to keep it nice and smooth I have to remove this a little bit more And you can see how it disappears. Then I go over here just a little bit, wash off in water. And then depending on how much you want it to go over for the gradient, you just scrub, scrub, scrub until you have it where you want it to be at. And then you will achieve, I don't think it needs a second dip. I think it's pretty dark of where I want it to be at. I'll show you close up in a second. So I'm gonna take a better magic eraser piece. Go over some more. So a little bit of a line right here, so we're going to be removing that. All right. So, and here you have it. You can still go over more if you wanted to, but since he's going to be dyed tan, it won't matter much. Let's show another gradient. So you just dip till you reach the line where you want the dye to be slightly. And then you just move and swirl in the water. And you dip in and out. And you slightly go lower. Turn the heat up a little. And sometimes also just take your other piece, compare real fast, pop it back in. Just add a second to your time when you do that. I'm at 42 seconds. I need to get to a minute and 13. Starting to 
oil more. And then depending on where you're at, you can add a few seconds or take a few, depending on how the resin takes. Yep, almost there. And done. Dip in water. Get the dye off. Come here. We can use a few more seconds. So I'm going to dry off the top a little. Otherwise the dye will go up into the water and pop it back in for a few seconds. Yeah, that looks good. Also, the color will look a little bit different as it cools down and dries. 